When we came up with the idea to make this film doomed to repeat it, it was because we wanted to tell the story before the story. And we all know the story of the tyrants, the corrupt leaders, those who are drunk with power, and how they can overwhelm an entire people, an entire society. I really believe the story that we're sharing within Doomed to Repeat It is so unique because each of us as viewers are going to see ourselves as the main character as we go through the timeline and seeing how throughout history, over and over again, there have been times where humans' rights and freedoms have been stripped away. It's so important right now when people are being silenced and separated and when communities and free speech are being suppressed to tell these powerful stories and inspire action. And that's what we're doing with this film. So the idea behind Doom to Repeat It is let's tell that story before the story. What is it that actually happens, not just in one or two people or a dozen people, but an entire society? What is it that happens that takes you from a reasonably healthy, normal people and reduces you to say 70 pounds and marched into a gas chamber. I think the reason that this documentary has had such an incredible response so far is that so many of us are thirsting for truth. And we recognize that in the entire span of Earth's history, our very own lives are just a speck in that timeline. Any ignorance of the past can lead to being ignorant in the very present without us even realizing it. In this film, Doomed to Repeat It, we're gonna take you back through history and look at different examples where tyrants have segregated, persecuted, torn apart entire groups of people, entire societies for their own personal gain. We are not immune to this in our modern time. It could happen to us here in America, anywhere in the world. The slippery slope is very real. It doesn't have to happen, and it won't happen if you and I do what we need to do, what is necessary right now, to not let it happen.